This video shows how to optimize and fix problems on the Technicolor version of the Telstra Smart Modem. First, log into the modem by opening a web browser and going to http colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.0.1 Sign into the modem. The default password is Telstra, capital T. Go to Advanced, go to Wi-Fi. The first thing I'll do is change the channel. In order to do this, I'll first check which channel has the least interference by using the inbuilt Wi-Fi scanner in the modem. Go to Analyze 2.4 GHz, accept the conditions. It looks like channel 8 has the least interference, so I'll use channel 8. So go to the 2.4 GHz Wi Fi band and change the setting from auto to whatever channel had the least interference and save settings. Go to the 5 GHz Wi Fi band and change the channel from auto to a non DFS channel. DFS channels tend to increase latency and also cause other problems. Save settings. You'll notice that by default, both Wi Fi bands have the same name. This can cause problems with some devices. So next I'll disable band steering which will add dash 5G to the access name of the 5 GHz Wi-Fi network. Go to 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi settings, scroll down and turn band steering off. Save settings. Notice this is now added dash 5G to the Wi-Fi name of the 5 GHz Wi-Fi settings. You can leave all other settings at the default and only change them if you are having problems with a particular device. If you are having problems with a device that is reporting wrong password or can connect to the Wi-Fi but doesn't have internet access, try changing the security mode from WPA2 PSK to WPA plus WPA2 PSK. If that doesn't work, try disabling protective management frames. Save settings. Protective management names is a new Wi Fi security enhancement that not all devices support and can cause the following problems. Devices won't connect to modem's Wi Fi. Common error is wrong password. Devices connect but don't have a valid IP4 address. Windows devices crash with a blue screen at death. Devices reboot when Wi-Fi on modem is turned off and then back on. Devices connect OK but lose connection intermittently. If you have any of these problems, try turning protected management frames off on the modem. Next, I'll measure the Wi-Fi signal from the modem using a Wi-Fi analyzer app installed on a dual band Android device or PC. For this test, I'll use the Wi-Fi analyzer by Matt Hefner, which is available free in the Windows Store. Open the app and go to Analyze and check on both Wi-Fi bands the modem's Wi-Fi signal is transmitting. Each peak in the graph is a Wi-Fi network. The peak with your modem's Wi-Fi name above it is the signal from your modem. The green peak is the signal from my modem's 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band. The signal should be over minus 60 dBm and preferably over minus 40 dBm. If there is no signal or the signal is less than minus 60 dBm, there is something wrong with the modem. Before replacing the modem, there are a few things to check. First, check that the Wi-Fi button on the modem is green. If it's not green, 
then try turning it on by pressing the Wi-Fi button for about three seconds. Another thing to check for each Wi-Fi band is that the Wi-Fi radio is enabled, the output power is at 100%, the access point is enabled and broadcast SID is enabled. Check both, wife, both the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band and the 5 GHz Wi-Fi. Another useful tool that these modems have is a client monitoring device. There is a list of connected devices. Select the device you want to investigate. There is a lot of useful information including the physical link rate and the actual data rate. Hope you have found some benefit from this video.